parents with a sexual child or children. What was your initial reaction upon their coming out? Story 1. This is going to get buried, and I'm glad it will, because this is something that burns my heart and tears my soul apart every day. I'm a Christian. Hold your pitchforks until the end. But I always thought of myself as an open-minded fellow. Growing up, I had a fairly average household and never had any personal experience with a family member being gay, though a few friends were. Long story short, because I keep stopping not knowing how to put the words down, my wife left me a few years back and I was left to take care of our son. When he went away for his first year of college, I was incredibly lonely, but I looked forward to having him back and, heaven willing, hearing about the women he had met. He was always a shy kid, never really had a girlfriend to speak of, and so I kept my hopes high. I remember he came to visit for Christmas and spoke of big news. My son sat me down a week before Christmas talking about a request he had. What followed will haunt me for the rest of my life. He explained that he had met somebody, and for the holiday, his only wish was for me to meet them. I, of course, assumed that them was a woman, and so I quickly and excitedly agreed. We began to discuss plans when my son said something along the lines of, He can't wait to meet you. I was slow to hear it at first, so I asked him to repeat himself, and he did. My immediate reaction was something so vile and despicable, I have not felt like a man since that day. I asked my son what he meant by it, and he began to explain he was gay. Began. I cut him off. Every foul, loathsome thing you can imagine, I said, to my son. I felt as if I was a passenger in my own body, unwilling to comprehend my own unbound fury. I kicked my son out of the house and told him that I never wanted to see him again. A week before frickin' Christmas, I kicked my little boy into the cold the child I devoted myself to for 18 years. I still can't understand it. He ended up staying with his mother's parents for the rest of the break. After a month of silence, they came to claim his belongings. I didn't stop them. I sat idly by and watched them take my son's clothes, paintings, and anything else he'd not taken with him to college. I haven't spoken to my son since that night. It's been three years. He's graduating next month, and all I want to do is be there to tell him how proud I am of him being the first of our family to graduate school. I'm too ashamed. Some men do not deserve fatherhood. I'm one of them. You should tell him all of this, especially if you're ready to accept him and his choices. I'm sure he would like to have his father in his life, but after how things went down, you're going to have to be the one to break down and honestly and fully apologize. Every journey requires the first step. This person, I think, is dealing with just being alone and being ostracized from his son. From reading this, do you get the feeling that out of everything he's proud of of his son, he's still working to try and accept his son's homosexuality? Because I think that's what it is, but I believe that he is more than willing to open up a conversation with his son and be open and discuss things. And I really hope that's what he does. What do you think? Story 2. My mom's reaction to me telling her I'm bi when I was 14. Y you are not. You are not. You are not. It's just a phase. You're just curious. Then lots of hitting. Telling me I should be grateful for the roof over my head, threatening to kick me out of the house telling me I couldn't leave when a friend's mother offered to let me live with them. She told me everyone would hate me if they knew, told me by people, frick animals, etc. Years later, asked me if my serious boyfriend would still want to marry me if he knew I'm bi. I told her he would, and she said, I'm not sure why, since you just leave him for anybody. We no longer speak. My life is much better. I'm 26 now and still by. Some phases. It saddens me that she reacted the way towards you. Some people are so bigoted, even their own children aren't safe from it. It's good that you're happy now, though. 
And if she was stupid enough to push her own child away for being who she is, then you truly are, as you said, better off. It kind of sounds to me like this mom's personality is very more controlling about things other than choice of romantic partners. I think there are other reasons why she chooses to stay away. Story 3. My sister's gay, and she came out on my 16th birthday when my mom and I traveled to where she was living. She was 19, away at university. We were sitting in the restaurant, and I got up to go to the bathroom. I came back to see my mom and my sister crying. I'll never forget my thought process, trying to figure out what was going on. At first, I was like, oh, hell, my sister has cancer. And right away in my head, I said, no, you idiot, she's just gay. I have absolutely no idea where that came from, as I have never considered the fact she was gay. She's a bit of a tomboy, but so am I, and neither of us really dated at that point. It wasn't a big deal. My mom told her she loved her, but it would just take some time to wrap her brain around. I remember going home and my mom telling my dad and my brother. We were all fine, but did experience a few days of being like, okay, so she's not going to have a husband, she's going to have a wife. She might have biological children and might not. Nothing else all that different, really. She's been living with her girlfriend for about three years now, been together for five, and they came to all our weddings, holidays, and whatnot together. Her girlfriend is totally a part of our family. All our friends and family know about it, and it's never been an issue. I just wish she did come out sooner and didn't feel like she had to keep this a secret from us. She knew my family was liberal and totally accepting of all that stuff, but she was worried it would be different when it's someone in your immediate family. Breaks my heart knowing that not everyone is accepting and that it's even an issue. I'm glad this one came out all right. And I think everyone is accepting, I think, of many people that are open, that claim they're open about homosexuality, are really thinking about the situations where it's other people. Not too many people take the time to really examine, well, what if it was one of my kids? Or what if my significant other decides to divorce me because they realize they're homosexual? You really have to have that kind of introspection. I think at some point you have to sit there and think, how would you react if it was that closely happening to you? At least they were really empathetic, and I'm glad that the girlfriend ends up becoming a part of the family. Story 4. My best friend came out to his parents about wanting to be a woman. Their initial reaction wasn't shock, but upset by the emotional pain he's been going through most of his life. They've been buying him estrogen since he came out about it and plan on paying for his operation next year. About me being a good friend and whatnot? Honestly, I don't deserve the kind words. She's been a great friend for the last few years now, and just because she can't help what she feels on the inside shouldn't have anything to do with our friendship. I didn't accept her as a friend before just because she had a penis, and I'm not going to lose a friend just because she doesn't. This is the first trans comment I've read, and I'm glad it's on here. I think trans children have it even worse than gay children, Obviously, not all the time, of course. It's still even less accepted and understood by many, so I can only imagine how hard it must be to live that kind of life. I'm glad your best friend has such loving parents, and a friend. Story 5. My oldest has been out for about 15 years. At first, it was hard, but not because I have issues with people being gay. Instead, I worried about how hard things might possibly be, even though attitudes are changing, there's still a lot of prejudice out there, and I just plain old worried that things would be harder than if they were straight. That said, I think my eldest was a bit disappointed there wasn't more drama. I used to find helpful P-flag pamphlets slipped under my pillow. Eventually, this phase passed. I like the partner, and we include the partner in all family things, so it really is no big deal. Exactly. No parent wants their kid to be gay because it's not really convenient. Your parents want you to be happy and for things to be as simple as possible. Story 6. For me, it's the opposite. My dad came out as gay last year. I'm 37 and my dad's 59. My mom passed away five years ago with them having been married 33 years. 
When my dad told me, I was shocked as he had hidden it so well for his whole life. Once I'd gotten over the initial surprise, I told him it was fine and it made no difference to who he is. We've always had a very strong relationship and he was afraid that by coming out, I'd reject him and stop him from seeing his grandchildren. It makes no difference to me. He's my dad and I love him. I can only imagine how difficult it must have been for him trying to suppress his feelings for 40-odd years. He probably really did love your mom, which is why it was so difficult for him to come out. Just remember, your mom and dad were married for a reason. They did love each other. I know I talked before about really taking the time to reflect on if someone really personal to you or in your family came out as gay. I have to admit, I've never really thought about if... Uh, my parents or any of my grandparents came out. I would think that I would be very accepting, but I would really have to take some time to reflect on that to really know myself for sure. Story 7. For a big chunk of my life, I was a closed-minded person who held the opinions of his parents. I was volunteering at a place in school and became really good friends with this guy. He was 29 and I was 18 or 19. One day, after we were done volunteering, we sat in the cafeteria and talked about random stuff. He told me how he had been engaged to someone for seven years in Japan. He's Japanese. Yay! And then he ended it. So I asked him why he was only engaged if they stayed together for so long. He said he was gay, and he assured me that he never once tried to hit on me. At that point, I was like, oh hell, and I felt my brain trying to consolidate this new piece of information. For maybe literally a minute or two, I continued to say, No, you're not gay, as if I knew him better than he knew himself. No. He was a really great person, and I couldn't imagine him being gay. After a minute or two of disbelief, I just shut up about it, and we continued talking about random things. I couldn't stop being friends with him. Frack my hateful beliefs. I'm very thankful to him for opening up my mind. Story 8 a high school friend of mine came out to his parents last year. I think he had known he was gay for a while and was comfortable with it, but he only told a few of his closest friends. Anyway, his family is extremely Catholic, and when he told his father, he accepted him. I think he wasn't all that comfortable with it, but didn't blame him in any way. His mother, on the other hand, shouted at him for hours. She essentially told him he was worthless to her and disappointed. The worst thing she said was, after a relatively successful chemotherapy treatment, that she wishes she had never even treated her cancer only to live and learn this. He left his house and stayed with a friend for a few days. His mom was so incredibly nice and pleasant, but I haven't said a word to her since I found out she said all of those things. I can't believe she called him a disappointment when he's a 4.0 student, president of student council, and president of four after-school clubs last time I checked. Curse that shrew. His mom needs to grow up. Story 9. Well, I had it a bit backward, really. I was 13, and my mom came out to me. We went on a walk, and she said, This might come as a surprise to you, but I'm gay. I answered, and this is actually what I said, one of my greatest moments. I know, Mom. Your girlfriend has been living at the house for like three months. When three people live in a three-bedroom house... They usually use up all three bedrooms. Either way, worked out fine. Got to mom's. Mother's Day's a mess. But the look on my other mother's face when I gave her a Father's Day card, priceless. Sweet, holy mother of ellipses. And some of us don't really need to sit down and reflect. Some of us have been given very obvious clues and have had plenty of time to sort out their feelings before the official announcement takes place. Like this person. Story 10. A friend of mine got sent away to one of the camps where they try to cure you when his parents found out he's gay. He was dating someone at the time, but on the down low, because his parents were very conservative Southern Christians, and somehow they found out. Not surprising, given we lived in a very small town and everyone knew everything about everyone else. They grounded him for the rest of the school year, and that summer sent him to camp. It was really hard on him and hard for his friends to see him having to go through his parents' reaction without being able to really do anything about it. I haven't talked to him since I moved away for college, but he graduates this month, and I know he's planning on going to college quite a distance away if he can, and I hope someday his parents can come to accept him for who he is. Story 11. 
When my sister came out about six months ago as a teenager, it was pretty surprising, but the reaction was pretty minimal. My mother didn't even bother telling me while I was away at college and continued treating her exactly the same, despite being a Southern Christian conservative. When my sister told me, I told her that she might meet a lot of people in her life that weren't accepting, but she meant the world to me, so it doesn't even matter. Don't think my other sister even knows yet. Honestly, overall it was pretty underwhelming. Life went on as usual. I'm proud of her for being comfortable with that part of her identity. When my sister came out about six months ago as a teenager, Mom, Dad, I'm 17. Story 12. My college roommate came out to me a few years after we lived together. Him. So, uh, I've been meaning to tell you for a long time that, uh, I'm, I'm gay. Me. Well, yeah, I knew that. Him. Wait, how'd you know? Me. Dude, you used my TV to watch Moulin Rouge and bring it on literally every single day. It wasn't that hard to figure out. Him. Yeah, I guess I could see that. He's a great guy, though, and we're still friends today. Story 13. I remember that one night I called up a friend and just asked to go over to his house and just talk because I was going through some tough times identity-wise. When I asked my dad if I could borrow the car, he looked me right in the eyes and said, Are you gay? It was in the nicest, most curious voice I'd ever heard him say anything in. I said I didn't know, and that's the reason why I needed to go over to my friends. I asked him not to tell anyone. He was completely understanding and he acted like it never happened. I still don't know what's going on with me, so, yeah. Story 14. Obligatory, I'm not a parent, but. My friend told his parents at age 16. He was sitting in the kitchen, building up the confidence to tell them as they chatted, and was getting visibly upset. They noticed, and he said, I have something to tell you. I'm gay. His mom said something along the lines of, Huh, I thought you were going to tell me you've been doing illicit substances. Then not much else was said of it. My mom was convinced for a while I was gay and doing illicit substances, and would yell at me for both. I was neither, so that was fun. Story 15. My brother is gay, and he came out when I was seven. He's ten years older. Initially, it made my dad feel like he was a failure, like he didn't raise a proper son. He was never mad at my brother, though, mostly just confused. My mom's brother is gay, so she understood and said she had always known. She helped my dad come to terms with everything, and my brother has a great relationship with my parents, and his friends are always welcome at family gatherings. My brother asked me the other day if I remembered when he came out and what I'd thought at the time. I told him I'd never thought about it much. He never changed, and it's just part of who he is, not the entirety of his identity to me. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Story 16. When my brother told me he was gay, I said, Well, I didn't really want to date you anyway. Our parents still don't know. I feel it's my responsibility to defend gay rights with my parents. For example, when my mom said she didn't like the idea of gay marriage to make things easier for him. I don't think there'll be tools about it, though, but I just don't know. My granny thinks all gay men are super clean. When she finds out my brother's gay, she'll soon change her tune. Story 17. How my brother came out to me. Called me. Hello? Hey, are you busy? No, what's up? Want to go out to dinner? Just got off work. Sure, how about Asian food? Sounds good. Another quick question. Name it. Mind if I bring my boyfriend? Sure, when will you get home? Ten minutes. Cool, see you then. Okay, bye. Story 18. I came out to my mother while we were both drunk at a going-away party of mine. We were having one of those drunken, so-I-never-told-you moments, and I just flat-out said, so I never bothered to tell you, but I'm bi and have been for as long as I can remember. My mother replied, well, duh, did you really think I thought your sleepovers with Rachel were innocent at the age of 16 when you both slept in the same bed and were snooping when I woke the two of you up? Come on now, I'm not stupid and we both had a big laugh about it. I never bothered to tell my father. I don't know what his reaction would be, and I honestly don't care. It's not as if I'm afraid to tell him. I just figure, why bother? I just want to point out that two straight people of the same gender can sleep in the same bed and spoon. Story 19. My parents were both okay with me coming out. My mom, however, 
didn't actually believe you could be bi. She thought it was one or the other. I had a friend who came out as bi during college, dated boys and girls, and eventually married a dude. To this day, her mom is convinced that getting married turned her straight. On the silly side, I didn't know you could like both until college. It just never occurred to me. I was even more surprised when I realized I like boys and girls. It still amuses me in hindsight. Story 20. I told my mom when I was 16. Her reaction was, You learned a French braid at 6 and learned makeup application at 12. Not news to me, son. I came out to my dad when I was 22. And that night, he told me he loved me, but two weeks later ended up giving me a concussion through hitting me all while saying the usual. Fairy, homo, etc. Police never did a thing about it, but my mom filed for divorce a week later, and now a year later, we're happy and free. Whoa. Usually it's the reverse sequence of events, if anything. Sorry your dad couldn't accept you for the good person you are, but glad to hear you're happier now. Keep on trucking. Or something. Whatever it is you gays say. Story 21. My cousin, who also happens to be a very good friend, was a tomboy her entire life. I remember the first time she came out to me. She was so nervous, and I couldn't believe why she was so nervous because, to me, it was already so obvious, so I wasn't surprised. It didn't change at all how I felt. So when she came out to her conservative Catholic parents, I was very surprised and mad at their reaction because I couldn't believe they didn't already know. They basically told her that she wasn't normal and that she was a failure, and I think her coming out added to the anger they felt of her dropping out of college. Her girlfriend and I had to sit with her as she bawled and we tried to comfort her. But what could we say other than that we love her and her parents are wrong? Eventually, her parents got used to it, and they gradually began to lose their homophobia over the years. But it was very difficult for the first year. Story 22 When my sister came out, my mom said, Hell yeah! Won't come home pregnant! And did a little happy dance. My father was not nearly as pleased, but... He's always been kind of a tool anyway. My cousin came out as a lesbian to her parents, and her dad had a similar response of, Well, I'm glad I won't have to worry about you sleeping around with douchebags in college next year. Story 23. I mailed my dad a coming out letter in college. Before he called me to talk about the letter, he went to the library to read up on everything about being gay and concluded that it was not a choice or a phase I was going through. When he called... He told me he supported me 100% and wanted nothing more than to see me happy and honest with myself. My dad is a loving nerd. If only more parents of gay children would do their research. Story 24 Yeah, I'd totally tell you how my parents reacted, but I haven't told them yet. Last time the subject of being gay came up, my mom talked about how much of a sin it is and my dad pulled out all his gay jokes. In the end... It was me defending it versus my family making fun of it. If I had to guess, my dad would be semi-alright with it, but my mom would flip her lid. Honestly, I asked her why she didn't approve of gays, and all she said was, Satan, blah blah, the church says no, blah blah, sinning. To be fair though, Satan, blah blah, the church says no, blah blah, sinning. Story 25 I'm sad to say I reacted rather badly when my daughter came out as a lesbian. I tried to high-five her. I realized this may not have been the best way to deal with her identity crisis, only when she said, What the hell? And my wife facepalmed. Seriously, though, I'm a man, and as such I can attest that men are pigs and she's better off without him. Also, lower risk of unwanted pregnancies. I'd say you reacted pretty well. Don't be so harsh on yourself. Story 26 Good guy I knew in high school refrained from coming out to his parents for three-plus years of high school. Around senior year, he was feeling the pressure to tell them, but was worried sick about them taking it badly and refusing to pay for college or something like that. He finally did it the summer before college, and their reaction was basically, We've known for about ten years now. Story 27. Not a parent, but when I told my mom I was bi-curious, she literally freaked the hell out. She told me I'm going to hell and she's going to get a guy to violate me in the butt to make me change my mind. She even deleted my Facebook account. Then I decided to tell her I was kidding. I still am, but I'll never bring it up. 
Getting violated up the butt hurts and will probably turn you into a full-on lesbian instead of making you like penis. Story 28. Direct quote of what my father said when I came out to him. I still love you, and I don't mind you being gay. Just don't come home saying your butt hurts. Best father ever. Read your dad's bit in the voice of J. Jonah Jameson from Spider-Man, or if you prefer, Cave Johnson. It just seemed right. Story 29. I'm late, but my friend came out about six months ago, and the very next night, his father left them. It's just him and his mom now. The family wasn't too heartbroken over this. He was abusive often, but he held the family together financially. They actually have absolutely no idea where he went, but they don't care too much. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope he can finally come to terms with it one day. Story 30. My brother is gay, and when he came out to my family, no one really cared. My dad didn't want to talk about it, and my mom still loved them like nothing was different. Her half-sister is a lesbian. When he told me he was gay, I said, So? I'm straight. What's the difference? You're still my brother. Story 31. My child first thought he was gay, but then finally figured out she's male to female transgendered. Once I knew that it wasn't a phase, I was fine with it. Confused at times, but acceptance and loving her was never an issue. I hope that you're my girlfriend's mom. You're probably not, but hey, I can hope. Story 32. When my cousin came out to his parents, they reacted very differently. His father refused to talk to him at all for several months. Their relationship is still difficult. His mother just said, Finally! Dad must have lost a bet to Mom. Story 33. My college roommate told me that when he came out to his mother, she asked, So what is writing backdoor like? Your father keeps pressuring me for it. I must know the answer to this question. Story 34. My friend replied with, We've known since you were about two. We knew before you. Out of interest, how come it took you 23 years to tell us? Your two dads. It runs in the family. Story 35. My son came out to me over the phone. Dad, I think I'm gay. My response was, okay. He was surprised that was all I had to say. I think he expected me to be mad at him. I mean, really, why should I care as long as he's happy? Story 36. My daughter came out to me while we were driving in the car. Then we finished our errands. Seriously, who cares? She's beautiful, happy, well-adjusted, and intelligent. I'm a proud mom. Story 37. My son came out to me, and I told him that he must leave the tribe, never to return. Then I laughed at him. Then I hugged him and told him that I love him. Story 38. When my friend came out and told her parents about her girlfriend, her mother said, Oh, I knew girlfriend was gay, but you? Well, okay. Story 39. A friend of mine who's gay told me his parents' only reaction upon his coming out was, Duh. Now, what do you want for dinner? Story 40. When I came out to my parents, they called me a F-slur and told me to get out of their house and never speak to their children again. It's been almost four years. I'm technically a dyke, by the way. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.